All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Coin King video. Today is Saturday, June 6th. And as you know, um, we are looking at the uh, coin market cap and bit market daily. Both of them have the same uh, stats. Um, as you can see, Bitcoin right now is trading at 96.55, Ethereum 241. Teeter at, oh, good God, I just want to skip that. XRP, 20 cents, Bitcoin Cash, 252, Bitcoin SV, 194, Litecoin, 46, Binance Coin, 1772, EOS, 279, and Cardano, 8 cents. Okay, and uh, the market cap as a whole is 274 billion, which is great news. And uh, the best news today, of course, is that, you know, King Zelica is running again. Like, it's running like math. I actually bought some more um, Zelica today. Um, because, like I said, you know, at this price level, I'm expecting to accumulate as many Zelica as I can. Uh, it's running like crazy. Uh, eventually, I, I know I'm kind of like going against my, my rule, right? My rule is that don't chase, don't chase, right? Which is understandable. I shouldn't chase because eventually these prices are gonna dip some. It's not gonna be on a run forever. Someone is gonna, there's gonna be weak hands, they're gonna sell this and it's gonna crash it back. Uh, but I don't know if it's not gonna crash as much, but it's gonna be some like, uh, you know, trace down a little bit. But I just bought it because, you know, I just feel like, um, I, I do have a hunch that maybe maybe it won't come down. That's why I'm kind of like, and plus at this price level is so low right now. I don't really give a crap that you know I put like you know a few bucks here and there to get more Zelica because I'm a long term holder. I think Zelica is gonna be huge down the road. It's gonna be like Ethereum little brother, right? It's gonna be like next to Ethereum. That's my that's my opinion on that. Um, again, before I should have disclosed in my every one of my video, I'm not a financial advisor. All right, do your own due diligence and research. Go to BitMarket Daily. Go to Coin Market Cap. Research on these projects yourself before you buy or hold anything, and don't invest in, uh, on anything that's that that you know that you feel that uh, this is too risky for you. And also, don't put any more money than what you're willing to lose right and another word as i said don't go out and and mortgage your house and uh take all your 401k out that's not the solution guys if you have some money and stuff like you want to like invest here and there like put it in piggy bank or whatever it's you know i consider crypto more like a saving to me or a, a, a piggy bank should i say um that's my opinion on that again i'm not your financial advisor so don't you know i'm just this is purely entertainment what i'm talking about so anyway, um, what was I going to say about am I am I talking about in this video is that um, the topic of this video really I wanted to talk about what are the three blockchains that you should be investing in long term or what should I the Coin King I like that name the Coin King that's pretty cool uh, what would I the Coin King what would he invest in long term as far as blockchain right. Blockchain wide, guys, these are my three ones that I truly believe in, right? That I believe that it's lowest risk and higher return, and also less risk or less risky. I, again, I may keep mentioning it's less risky. It's best, all right. And that three blockchain that I think has huge potential. All right, let's start with number one. Number one. Not any like order as far as, but I'm just saying the first one, that's the first one I'm picking is Ethereum themselves, right? Ethereum as far as the blockchain go, right? Ethereum, 20, 20, 15 Ethereum came to the market at a cool price of, I believe it was 40 cent. What was that, 15 cent? It was somewhere in that range. You're looking at Ethereum trading at $241 right now. December 2017, Ethereum touch base almost 1,500. I said it right, 1,500. Ethereum now is 241. Think about the return. If you invest 15 cents to 40 cents back then, and now it's worth $241.
And, and, Ethereum future is huge. All these application, all these tokens on the UC right now in the crypto market, 90% are powered by Ethereum, right? Low risk, excellent project. And Vitalik Buterin. Do you know who Vitalik is? Let's Google who Vitalik is. If you don't, for those that don't know what the hell oh, he looked like, let's go ahead and Google him. Vitalik. Vitalik Buterin is the founder, one of the founder of Ethereum. Look at his face. Look at this. Okay, come on, internet, render it. Okay, look at this. This guy looked like a damn walking genius. This is why I have my, I, I, I love Ethereum. I should get more Ethereum at this price. Because I think Ethereum is still going to be number two for like Bitcoin number one and two for a long, long time. I don't think anyone's going to be dethroning Ethereum anytime soon. Yes, not even Zelica. That's my opinion. But both are huge. Okay, now let's go back. Now that you know what Vitalik looks like. Let's go back to the coin market. Number two, number two, number two. Like I said, it's not in any order as far as like, ooh. It's just my pick, my selection, my number two pick for long-term blockchain project. They're gonna be huge. Like the Trump, Donald Trump said. It's gonna be huge. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. You got it, Cardano. Cardano. I made a video about Cardano. I had a lot of backlash on YouTube when I made a video about Cardano. I have no idea why they were upset with me. I wasn't dogging out Cardano. I was mainly a supporter of Cardano, and I still am. And I have position in Cardano. So people were upset in my last video about why people are upset with Cardano. And then I got a bunch of thumbs down and stuff. Like I offended somebody. I'm only just my opinion. I, I'm down talking Cardano, but that's another story. Okay, Cardano is a huge blockchain. It's number ten right now, and could be very well be in the top five. I should increase my position at Cardano as well. Cardano's circulation supply was twenty five. It is twenty five billion. Sub so total supply of thirty one billion. Now Cardano. Here's something that's gonna be. Freaking you out a little bit. Cardano founder is also the founder of, you got it, Ethereum. Charles Hawkinson. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Let's see if we can see who Charles is. And that's the video that I said people upset about Charles. And I think people were all mad about me. And I about, and I'm, like I said, I'm not even down talking Charles. I think Charles is a genius. Charles Hawkinson. Another important thing to remember about Cardano is that basically this is a blockchain that wasn't cloned or try to copy Ethereum or anything. Charles Hoskin and his team actually developing Cardano from scratch. Right here, look at this. Charles Hoskinson is a mathematician, founder of Cardano and co-founder of Ethereum, which are two of the world's most popular cryptocurrency network. Vitalik, Charles, you get the picture, okay? Charles Cardano, I mean Charles Hopkinson, predict he predicted this and, and it was in the news. He predicted that Cardano can hit twenty three dollars, which will make Cardano market cap one trillion dollars. Now that's long term. He didn't say next year or this year, long term. So Cardano is a very 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 good project blockchain project. Definitely a huge room to grow. I should actually buy more Cardano. It was at 0 0.028. That's two cents, guys. Which is the price of Zelica right now. Insane. I should have scooped up more Cardano. I'm very upset about that. Okay. Now, let's go to my third and final one. Third and final blockchain that I have and will hold long term. And you got it. You know the one. You guessed it right. King Zelica. Right? This damn thing's so damn slow. King Zelica. G 
Jesus. You already know I made plenty of video about Zelica. I don't really need to go into so much detail of why I think Zelica is going to run. I heard, if you need to know, see my other video, but I can summarize it right quick. Zelica will be one of the big league. It could be very well sit next to Ethereum and Cardano long term. Due to the circulating supply of only 10 billion, total supply of 13 billion, that's less than Cardano itself. It may actually be Ethereum, Zelica, and then Cardano. Right? Sitting at number 39 right now, Zelica has star-studded team, many partnerships, so many good news coming, the brand, the name itself. And one person that actually got me into Zelica is this man right here. Like I said, I always look at the, the founder and the team themselves. And I, but also the founder is the one, the visionary, right? They're the one that uh, that's going to be... That you that's gonna make or break uh, the project, right? And Max Catilli is a genius. He is one of the. Why the hell is this thing? Oh my god! Max Catilli is one of the co-founder of Zelica. And let's go ahead and hear him talk right quick, right? This is a just a brief summit. If you haven't heard him talk, financial service to the. To, so I'm a, I'm gonna give you this. This is all you need to hear. This is all you need to hear right here. Shit. I'll be damned. Let me go back, guys. Shit, man. I'm so mad. Ugh, fuck. I want a damn freaking tablet. I want... It's very important that y'all hear... That you hear uh, what Mac have to say. Listen to how he, he basically uh, speaks and explain stuff, all right? And then, it, and this is a true leader, a visionary, all right? Let me, I'm gonna shut up, let y'all hear this. My absolute pleasure, it's great to be in the blockchain is a perfect mechanism for really, really bringing um, financial services to people that don't have access to financial services today. We're taking a look now at implementing a business adoption in the blockchain space and Max from Zilliqa joins me now. Hi Max, thank you for joining me today. My absolute pleasure, it's great to be in Malta again. It's great to have you back in Malta and I would love to get your insights from the point of Zilliqa, where are things going so far um, and what kind of sectors are you looking at implementing? Sure. Well, it's been a, a busy year. 2019 has been a really busy year for Zilliqa. We launched our mainnet this year. And then since then, our focus has been on firstly, just optimizing the technology, i.e. making it better. Um, and secondly, of course, we've been focusing on adoption. So from an adoption perspective, we're doing two things. Um, we're trying to find more and more smart entrepreneurs who want to build their, their D apps on top of Silica. We've set up a grants program to do that and have found some amazing companies that are already building some very cool stuff on Silica. Secondly, um, we're also looking at enterprise adoption. So we're now starting on a journey of making the, the technology more, more robust, more industrialized, so that we can help bigger enterprises who want to come onto a layer one chain such as ours uh, to, to do that. Um, 2020 is, is going to be about looking at how we tackle the huge market opportunities in decentralized finance, um, which is something that is very close to our hearts. We think that delivering financial service to the, to the services to the unbanked or the underbanked is, is a really, really big play. So that's on the cards for 2020. So it sounds like you've got a very busy year ahead. And I wanted to touch on the business adoption and really focusing on large enterprises, as you've said. I think for a lot of enterprises that are running a very well oiled machine as it is today, they struggle to understand how blockchain technology and how these applications could really benefit them, um, which is a process that I'm sure you can see the, the kinks in the chain as it were. What kind of enterprises are you really looking at? Okay, so we've selected some big industry segments and actually um, we're in the process of setting up some sister companies, one that was launched actually just a month ago is called Achilles, which is Zilliqa backwards. And Achilles is really tackling the 
the big imbalance in the digital advertising world between the brands, the platforms, and the end consumers, you know, people like you and I, who are at the mercy of these, these walled gardens. So we, we're very excited about the change we can bring to digital advertising for consumers and for brands. Um, secondly, we think financial services is, is just dying to be disrupted through decentralization. Um, and I, I come from that world, so I know a little bit about how it works. And um, I think that the blockchain is a perfect mechanism for really, really bringing um, financial services to people that don't have access to financial services today. So for us, it's, it's those two big industry segments, and I think that's going to keep us busy for a few years yet. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights today. You have to keep us up to date with the progress as they happen. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all for myself and Max. We'd love to hear how you found this segment. All right. So, so there you have it, guys, right? That is Max Catili, one of the co-founders of Zelica. So this is why I invest in these three blockchain because of the visionary leader, right? From Ethereum, you got Vitalik. From Cardano, you got Charles. And from Max Cotillia, Zelica, and his other uh, member of the team, all right? And they are strong. This is why I invest in all these three. So they're, I don't really you know, consider it to be a competition with them. I think there's room to grow for everybody in this sector. So... Um, that's that's my take on on these these block blockchains. All right. So anyway, that's it for this video. It's a little bit long, but again, you got a lot of information, especially about the Zelica interview, which is fantastic. Be sure to subscribe to my channel next uh, when you get a chance and like the video. All right. Until next time. Peace.